Up to this point, we have discussed signals whose frequency content is constant for all time. In the real world, though, signals are very rarely constant, and their frequency content can change very quickly. If we want to analyze the frequency content of a signal whose frequency content is changing, we must use a series of short DFTs to analyze the signal one chunk at a time. We call this new processing method the short time Fourier transform. In this figure, you can see a series of red curves overlapping the signal that we are analyzing. These red curves are called windowing functions, and they break our signal into manageable chunks. When we compute the short time Fourier transform, we apply a series of windows to the signal and take the DFT of each of these windows using a DFT algorithm called the fast Fourier transform. We can then place all of these DFTs together in a single graph called a spectrogram. In the top graph, we have a speech signal that changes over time. The bottom graph is our spectrogram. The left axis corresponds to the frequencies of our DFTs, and the bottom axis corresponds to the successive window functions. Notice how the spectrogram changes with the speech signal. When we analyze a signal that changes over time, we must carefully choose our window size and our step size, or the distance between the center of successive windows. If we increase our window size too much, we will not be able to accurately see how the frequency content changes over time. For example, notice how the 8192 sample window size looks blurry and looks the same over all time. If our window size is too small, we will lack the resolution to obtain a good picture of the frequency content. Notice how the 32 sample window size does not really give us a good indication of the high frequency content of the signal. If our step size is too small, we will waste a lot of computation time, and if our step size is too large, we will have only a fuzzy idea of how the signal changes over time.